This is Dr. James Pacey. Today I will be describing in this video graft link quadrupled semitendinosus autograph with fiber tape internal brace and tightrope RT fixation with loop intact core modification for all inside ACL reconstruction. The graft preparation begins by lengthening the tightrope RT fixation device loops to make it easier for graft passage. Once the first tie rope is lengthened, a fiber tape suture is secured. In this case, a collagen coated tape is then passed through the button on both sides such that the tails exit the same side as the loop portion of the suspensory fixation device. Care is taken to fully seat the fiber tape suture against the button in such a manner that the all inside device functions properly. And here you see the loop for fixation of the graft is pulled down against the button. And that's how it should look prior to loading the graft. A second tight rope is then lengthened. And this will be for our tibial side. Our semitendinosus autograft is then stripped of any muscle and then sized the graft is then doubled over through the tibial side tightrope and secured to the graft station. A fiber loop suture is then passed around the doubled over tendon on the side away from the tightrope and cinched in place and then back passed through both tendons on the end closer to the tibial tightrope in a loop and tack fixation fashion which is as strong as a five throw pass which can be done in an alternate fashion. The tails are then passed through the far end of the graft in order to come out in a good position to secure within the graft and the fiber link is cut. A second tight rope is then placed in the opposite side of the graft station and the doubled over graft is then passed through that tight rope to quadruple the graft. The tails of the fiber loop suture are then passed through the center of the two tails, one strand exiting each side in order to dock the quadruple tendon centrally within the graft and secured. The fiber tape sutures are then marked for easy identification upon suture passage and passed in a crosswise fashion centrally within the graft such that they will be buried within the graft in the intraarticular portion. The tapes are then secured to the graft station and here you see the quadrupled graft prior to cerclage stitches being placed. We then place two cerclage stitches, one at each end of the graft approximately 15 millimeters from the each end and care is taken to not catch the internal brace sutures and to bury the knots within the central portion of the graft and you can see the sutures tied within the central portion of the graft one end of the suture cut and then burying the other tail to pull the knot within the central portion of the graft this is then repeated at the other end And here you have your final graft. It's tensioned at 10 to 15 pounds. We then mark the graft generally at 15 millimeters from each end. And then at the central portion, what we call the 50 yard line, which can subsequently be referenced when tensioning and placing the graft intraarticularly. Thank you.